Alright, up for sale, my Vegas station wagon. Has the 500 Cadillac motor mounted in the back. Uh, as you can see, the radiators up front with two electric fans mounted in the front to keep it cool. Will need new tires because, as you can see, they're dry rotted. So, uh, gonna have to come off and be replaced. Front tires are 185 6014s. There is some prior body work starting to show. If I remember correctly, the car is a 1972. As you can see, back tires also going to need to be replaced. I may have a set I can give to go with the car. Probably a set of drag slicks is what I'd give you. Uh, as you can see, the back tires 295 50 R15s. Uh, actually, I just took the car out for a ride. You can see where the wood kicked up on the quarter panel. I only took it around the block. Cars are registered at this time. Uh, it seems to drive okay. The rear suspension was repaired. As you can see in the back, I put adjustable arms in the rear on the bottom. The bushings were in really bad shape on the old ones. Let's see here the bread and butter 1970 Cadillac Eldorado engine with the accompanying transmission out of the same car. Uh, the motor is stock, to the best of my knowledge. Nothing that's been done to it, as long as the factory required to jet on it. As you can see, it has a custom box frame in the back. The custom control arm set up. From what I understand, it has the Cadillac axles that come off the transmissions and uh, Corvair uh, axles on the other end. It's a custom made axle on both sides. Uh, transmission cools mounted right here. Set of gauges. I uh, shut it down just a few minutes ago. As you can see the temperature is still high. I'm going to start it up in a minute. Alright uh, yeah, guys, you can see a little minor surface rust on the roof. Again, the car was painted years ago, so the paint starting to show its wear. There is a tiny crack right here in the windshield. Fairly noticeable. Uh, the underneath of the car is not bad. It's not very rusty. As you can see from the interior, there's some racing buckets put in. Plexiglass to separate where the engine is. If you need to work on the front of the engine, plexiglass comes right out. These are the old control arms that I took out. As you can see, bushings are in really bad shape, especially on this one arm. There's a whole slew of problems. There's two ways of starting this. If you flip the battery switch in the back, you can turn the key in front to start it right up or just turn the key on here put the back of the car put the battery switch to have its power put the engine start button right here there is a noise coming from it which I believe is going to be the flex plate might have might be cracked it's definitely running out of something uh, I did take the car around the block and the noise went away, then it was more audible, then it went away. It's kind of hit and miss. Uh, that's about all I have to say. Any questions, feel free to ask.